Hey there, this is Nick with DraftBit. You are watching the third video in the tutorial series of Introduction to DraftBit. In the first tutorial, I covered DraftBit's design and layout tools. And in the second tutorial, I covered DraftBit's navigation tools. If you missed either of those topics, head on back in this series of tutorials and watch those to get you up to this point. In this tutorial, I'm going to cover DraftBit's data capabilities. So in this tutorial, I'm going to connect a backend to DraftBit, and I'm going to show you how to bring live data into a DraftBit app. To access DraftBit's data capabilities, click this API and cloud services icon in the top bar of DraftBit to open up the data overlay. The first thing that I need to do to connect data to DraftBit is connect a base service to my app. For this tutorial, I'm going to connect a Xano backend. Connecting a base service is really easy. We will give it a name and copy and paste a base URL. So now that I have my Xano backend connected to DraftBit, I need to create individual endpoints that drive the functionality of my app. If you remember from the previous tutorial, I have a screen in my app called Feed, and what it's supposed to do is show me a list of photos like a news feed in a social app. In the design and layout tutorial, I built a really simple image component with a username text field above it. But right now this is all just static information. And what I really want is a scrolling list of all of the images that are in the back end with the username of the user who posted it. So the first task is to create an endpoint that fetches all of the photos from the back end. And to do that, I'm going to open the data menu back up and create a new endpoint that fetches all of the photos. We're going to call this endpoint get photos. It's going to be a get method, get many, and our object type is going to be photo. And I already have this endpoint created in my back end. The syntax is forward slash photo. And when I test it, I should get data back from the server that shows me a list of photos that are being returned. I can preview that response, which was successful here in, in the DraftBit data modal. So I know that I'm getting data back from the server save that. And now the task just becomes using the response from this get photos endpoint in my app. So looking at this feed screen right now, in order to make this useful, I need to turn this into a list and then I need to populate the list with data from the server. So I'm going to add two new components to my screen, a fetch component. And then inside the fetch component, I'm going to put a list component. And then I'm going to nest the components on the screen inside of the list. And then I need to map my data to this fetch list tree. So mapping the rest service and endpoint to the fetch, you can see the data preview once again in the fetch component, select the list component, tell the list component to iterate over the items array that is being returned by the endpoint. And then I've got two components on my screen that are currently static that need to be mapped to data instead. The first is this text component, which gives me the username of the user who posted the photo. I'm going to replace this static value with a variable for username, and I'm going to map that to the user handle coming from the back end. And then this image component, which is currently a static asset, I'm going to change this to being driven by data, give it a variable name, image URL, and map the image URL to the image URL being returned from the server. One last step to make this screen scrollable. And now you can see that I've got this simple feed of data coming back from the server. So that's it. In this tutorial, we covered connecting a base service to a DraftBit app, creating an endpoint for that base service, and then consuming the data coming from that endpoint in a screen in DraftBit. In future tutorials, we will cover doing more advanced things with this data as well as interacting with data. See you in the next tutorial.